Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're going to look at how you can integrate LearnDash with Gravity Forms. And one of the main reasons you might want to do this is because using Gravity Forms, you can create some really nice custom registration forms that will automatically enroll people into LearnDash courses or groups and register them onto your system. So even if you haven't heard of it, Gravity Forms is a premium form plugin for WordPress and it's mainly intended for creating things like contact forms, but since then it's been expanded to do lots and lots of other things. You can use it to create mailing list signups and all sorts using this and this e-commerce functionality as well. And um, it's, it's just really, really easy to, easy to use and it's a really intuitive interface. And you'll see that in a, in a moment when I set one up. So what you'll need initially is Gravity Forms installed. And what you will also need for this is to head to Gravity Forms here and then go to add-ons. And if you scroll right down to the bottom here, what you want to do is make sure you've got this user registration add-on active, and that should be available as part of your Gravity Forms subscription. So the other thing that you need to do is enable an add-on from the LearnDash side by hovering over LearnDash LMS and then going to add-ons. And if you scroll down here, LearnDash have a free add-on here called Gravity Forms for LearnDash. And what we're going to do is just uh, download that there by clicking that button. It'll appear under the installed section here. And what we need to do is click on activate here. And now we've got all the components set up to be able to create our registration forms and link them with uh, LearnDash. So let's get started with that now. We'll head over to Forms, and then we'll go to New Form. And what I'm going to do is call this something like My LearnDash Registration. And we're going to create a form. Now, the great thing about Gravity Forms is it's, it's a drag and drop builder. So what you can do is uh, yeah, drag in any of these options. You know, you've got the option to create your own forms with things like, you know, certain uh, form fields, text fields, number fields, checkboxes, radio buttons. And it's really, really powerful. But the ones that we're going to look at here will bring in name and that'll capture the first and last name we will capture their email address. And perhaps we will also, I mean, we could add in a username field as well if we wanted, but what I'm going to do as part of this is just use their email address as the username. We can add a password in for them to set their own password. And, you know, we've got other things here. So maybe I'll add something like a website, you know, just to capture a website. I mean, this is just a, an example. And what I'm going to do now is just click Save Form. So we've created a basic form here. And now what we're going to do is go to Settings. And then first, we'll just have a quick look at Form Settings because there's a few different options we can use here. We can change where labels are placed and things like that. But uh, one of the things you might want to do is enable some form of spam protection. And you can link this with Google's recapture uh, if you have an API key for that. But what an alternative for that is just to enable this spam honeypot here. And that's just a simple way to prevent some, but not all, bots from coming on and signing up to uh, this registration form. So I'm going to enable that. There's also other things like you can require users to be logged in to, to do this, but I'm going to use this as a registration form, so it doesn't really make sense to enable that. We can enable confirmations, which are sent to the registrant when they do this. So we can edit this default comp confirmation here, and the defaults tend to be related to contacting, but you know I'll put something like, thanks for registering. Um, just keep something simple there. 
You can also enable these notifications, which are emails that get sent to the admin of the site. And we can uh, say who, you know, like the admin or potentially other people and say what we want to send them when people register this. If we want to have this, that is, you know, we can um, alternatively just get rid of this and not have a notification coming to either the user or the admin. And now we're going to skip down here to the user registration because this is what we do to, to make this all work. And this is what appears once you enable Gravity Forms' user registration add-on. So we'll just click Add New here. And it, what it does is it creates something called a feed. And what this is doing is creating the settings for the feed of users into your platform once they populate the, the registration form. So I can leave the title as it is. I'll just call this learn dash registration. And what we're going to do is say that it creates a new user when someone does this. And here's where we can map the fields from the form to certain things. So what I'm going to do is say that the email address becomes their username because that's something that we set there. The first name it's automatically said is name first, name last. So it's, it's picked those up automatically. Nickname, I will say is their full name. Display name is first name space last name. The email address it's already picked up. And what it's done here is said that the password that they enter when they fill in the form will become their password for the platform. Alternatively, if you didn't want them to enter a password when they registered, you can send them a password via an email link if you want to. And here's where we select what role they get when they fill in this form. Typically, in a standard setup, you'd want that to be subscriber, which is sort of the lowest level um, of access to the platform. And here we can map certain meta details to the, you know, to capture additional information about the users. So one here is website and, uh, you know, we can map that to a form field that we captured there, which is the website. So if you remember when I was building the form, I added a website field. We can capture that and map that and store that against the user's profile. We can choose whether or not to send the user an email about their account. I'll just tick that and say, you know, it's emailed from WordPress. We can set it so that any new registrants have to be activated if we want to. And what this is, is it would require a admin to approve any new users registering this form or you can untick that altogether and just make it so that it automatically creates an account and there's no intervention involved from an admin. So it would instantly create them an account as soon as they register. There are some um, particular email you know, conditions that you can use as well here. So you might want to, um, you know, restrict this and maybe say email contains at mailinator.com. And what this would do is just restrict that. So if you knew that you were expecting a number of users from a certain company at acmelimited.com, you could use that to um, you know, restrict uh, users and, and only allow them if they have a certain domain in their email address. So I'm just going to enable that for now and keep that as emails only are only allowed if they contain at mailinator.com. And here's where the learn dash bit comes in. So we can choose whether this is a paid form or not. Um, and this is relates to, um, you know, if it's a link to a paid, paid course, I think. But this is where you can choose what courses people get enrolled onto. So I'll just choose a couple here. You can also add them to learn dash groups as well, you know, just by choosing them from this list. So what will happen if someone registers using this form is it will create them an account and automatically enroll them onto these two courses. So I'm just going to save the settings now. And the way Gravity Forms work is you can now embed these onto a page. So I'm just going to create a new page here. 
and I'm going to call this when it loads uh, learn dash registration. And here, you know, if you're using Gutenberg, you'll have the option to go like this and open that and just search for gravity forms. And then you can select which form you want to embed here. And I'm going to choose this my learn dash registration form here. And you can see that that pops in and we've got all the fields there. And all I'm going to do now is click publish. And our form has now been created. So let's give that a go now. And what I'm going to do to test this is just open a new private window. So it won't, it'll, it'll be as if I'm logged out. I'm going to put in, um, you know, John Smith. John Smith learn dash test one, two, three, four at mailinator.com. So that's crucial here because we only allowed this registration form to be used by people with at mailinator.com in there. I'm going to make up a password. And I'm going to enter just you know, so a random email, uh, website here. And now click submit. I should have pointed out you can actually um, change the uh, title of that button. So register would probably be a more appropriate title. But now we've um, got that created. So let's just head to mailinator.com and just see what email addresses, emails we received there. So we've got something there just saying we've got our login details and information about how to, to log in. So if I go to the login now and enter this, we should find that we can now log in. And if we go to courses, we have access to those two courses that we specified as part of the registration form. So I think that's a, a really neat and easy way to create forms, uh, registration forms for your platform. Sometimes the ones that come with LearnDash and the process for creating those is a bit clunky. And um, you know, Gravity Forms, you saw there with that drag and drop editor, just made things so much easier. So I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.